guys, so I'm coming at you with another skincare item review, um, just because there have been a couple items that I just really wanted to get out there and really wanted to share my opinion on. Uh, the last one was on this simple night cream, which I just posted a few days ago, so check that out. I'll link it in the description box. But today it's going to be on the Mederma Scar Gel. Now, a lot of people probably already know about this. This was one of the first really revolutionary scar gels or creams that came out on the market. I remember years and years ago seeing the commercial for it and thinking, wow, I wonder if it really works. And then my sister ended up getting it but didn't really use it much, so then I decided to use it. So that's my story on this. Now, I actually do have before and after pictures. I don't know where they went. <laughs> I need to find those. Um, if I find those, I'm definitely going to post those on my Instagram because, I mean, it's not as dramatic as, like, you know, a scar this big going down to, like, this big, but um, you can definitely tell a significant difference over the course of a few months that this gel made. So keep an eye out on my Instagram. If I find those pictures, I may post it around the time I post this video. So anyway, um, I don't remember how much this was. I know it's a little pricey. I mean, it's not... It's not like a drugstore skincare thing usually. It's a little more because it's a scar gel, so you're going to pay a little more because you got to do a little more. And it comes in this little tube, but the thing is this tube is deceiving because you can make this tube go a very, very long way. This is a 0.7 ounce tube. And literally, when I was using this, I would... Oh, not even that much. I would go to there take it off and rub it on. That was it. Twice a day. They recommend um, three to four times a day for three to six months for existing scars or three to four times a day for eight weeks on new scars. Um, I had an existing scar and it was like right, right around here and it was, now you can still see a little faint mark right there, but it was an acne scar and basically I had Pop the pimple and then I kept picking at it. Yeah, I confess, I'm bad at that. So it became a scab and then it became a scar. And I was very self conscious about it. Just this one scar was just like, hello, I'm always here. And it was just particularly dark and I didn't like it. So then I picked this up and I think it was October, November, I started using it. Um, I stopped using this last month in February, so about three to four months I used it and I would use it twice a day, every single day. Um, I did notice one fact, that if you exfoliated and then applied this, because I exfoliate like kind of once a week thing, um, and then I'll apply my acne stuff and my moisturizer and then this. If you exfoliate and then apply this, it's almost like it works better because the exfoliating is taking that layer of dead skin off, so it's getting close to the scar and it's just shedding more of that scar off. So I recommend doing that, but you do need to do this on a daily basis for it to work right. Um, and at least twice a day. I know it says three to four times a day, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I was like, alright, I'll do twice a day just like my skincare, morning and night. And it worked. I mean, maybe it took a little longer, but I didn't mind. It worked. I was very dark. I don't know if you can see right now. It's like a faint little mark right there. And you can see it in some lights. You can still see a little tiny bit with no makeup on. But it's almost like non-existent compared to what it was. It was just this dark mark that was right there. And even with makeup on, I would try concealing it. And it's just like, nope, I'm going to peek right through. So, I really, I don't know. I just wanted it gone. So I used this. And over the course of three or four months, it did work significantly. Um, I just decided to stop using it because, well, one, this is expired. Because, yeah, this is like an older tube, and it says expires February 2013. So it's expired. Um, but it was, you know, it's in around and it wasn't expired yet. So I was like, hey, I'll use it. So maybe if you get a newer one, it'll work even faster. But... I just, I really like the results I got from it, um, and I would definitely recommend this to someone who has kind of a minor scar that they just want to get rid of over the course of a few months. Now, if you have a raised scar, 
I don't know if this will work for you. I have not tried it on raised scars, um, because that involves like a little more doing, I would think, because it's raised. So, not sure how that would work. Maybe it would just take the discoloration out, and then it would just blend into your skin, but be a little raised. Um, but I'm not sure. I only know what I just told you. So, that's what I recommend it for. If you have had awesome experiences with this, please let me know. Or any other scar cream, because I know there's probably a million out there. I just wanted to try the one that I saw advertised. This was like the only one I knew about, and it's the one we had in our house. So I was like, all right, grabbing this bad boy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and have positive experiences with getting rid of your scars as well, because nobody likes those. <laughs> They're just these annoying little suckers that hang around, and it's usually from bad decisions on your part, like me, but hey, we're all human, so. And for the scars you can't get rid of, embrace them. So, yeah, that's my little motivational speech for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye.